Good day and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Actually, today was a bit slow and uh, really not uh, moving for the ones that are unaware with our system. Uh, this is a market analyzer. It's based on an entry target. And then you can see uh, how many ticks uh, from the target and then the profit of that uh, last signal. So as an example, on the ES, we have an entry uh, at uh, 26.22, target 26.26.75. And then on the pullback, also we give you an entry and when uh, you can take the trade based on the pull back. Uh, on the blue chart here, you can see uh, where is this entry. It happened. Here it says 26.22. And uh, you can see the auto trade. It comes with the three different automated trading. There's an ATM, ATM strategy, and a fully automated. Today I'm running fully automated. Uh, so when the auto trade, take a trade, especially on the full automated trade, if you take this target to trying to move it, it will not move. But uh, the ATM, you have, you're, you're able to uh, move the, uh, the target back and forth and the trailing stop as well. So right now we have 112 ticks based on the last signal. Uh, the same story. Uh, comes in uh, to the Forex, uh, the market analyzer on the future trading and the Forex, the future trading is based on one contract on the market analyzer, but on the auto trade, we take one or two trade. And then um, you can have 10 lots if you want, or if you, can, if you want just one lot, one contract, you can uh, feed the auto trade to take only one contract. Uh, on the uh, Forex, we use uh, a mini account, 10,000, and it's the same principle, entry, target, and then how many take uh, pips uh, into the profit now, right now, based on the last entry, we have uh, 33 uh, pips to the profit. Then we have here the swing trading and the scalping. They are, it is a really amazing day. Uh, most of the... Uh, uh, swing trading uh, has uh, uh, practically uh, uh, hit the target. And uh, let's look at uh, some of the swing trading. Uh, we're not going to be covering every single chart, but uh, we will look at uh, the most uh, instruments that traders use. Uh, this is a typical 150 takes, which it did take a lot of trades, actually. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six trade. All those uh, swing trading because of uh, after New Year Eve, really there is not much movement. So we, we have a daily target on 500. And then when the market is going to your favor, uh, it's going to stay on that trade uh, until that trade is closed. So uh, this one here is a target 500. And then on the last trade, you can see uh, it did go over the 500. And then we were, uh, we got the 740. And uh, this is the 150 takes. Uh, if we look at, uh, you know, some traders that like the FIBS numbers. So if we're looking at the, the 244, uh, not much trade actually, one small trade here and there. And uh, what is nice about it really, what I like about the takes uh, that um, if we look, uh, this is really important in the automated trading. If we look at the entry is uh, 51.73. And this is a serious chart, 244. And then we have an exit at 51.68. This is not much takes on a stop loss for uh, 280, 244 takes. Then the second trade took short at 51.50, and 
and then exit at uh, 51, 58 with a losing trade. So the 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 and those all those uh, swing trading does not require any optimization, back testing, and forward testing. The whole idea is if this. Uh, trade did not go to your direction then we need to close it as soon as possible which the auto trade does that you don't have to deal with a trading stop and stop loss uh, we find out the hard way traders sometimes uh, they make mistakes uh, with the, the selling so this one here it is really the swing trading <coughs> set excuse me a set to uh, turn on turn off and without all this headache comes with it. And then we had one nice trade. And um, look at this uh, third losing trade here. Uh, we entry, we have 52.03, and then you exit at 52. This is a three takes. So in a way, uh, the uh, so the guy is uh, automating uh, trade on the 244. Uh, it's not going to be nervous if he have one losing trade. This is a really have direct impact on the uh, guy is uh, driving that auto trade. And then on the last trade, 51.99, exit at 52.22. Uh, Nevertheless, uh, we got the, the daily target is 500. And um, if we look at 288, also FIB numbers, so you can see it was one trade, 560, get it over with. For the uh, range, for the range uh, uh, traders, uh, also it was one trade and um, it was really nice, beautiful entry and 5173, exit 5148 and call it off for today. Beautiful. Actually on the full range, if we didn't have the daily target at 500, we would have uh, nailed much more. We would have nailed this area here. And that area, and that, uh, I'm not sure about this area. But then we dived into the chop. And this is not really pleasant. And then we had the last run is right there. We would have taken. So um, once you hit the target, you should not be keep messing with the market. You just leave it alone. Because if you see here, this is really a huge mess, and that is going to cause you a lot of, uh, you can lose a lot of money in those area here when the markets start getting flat or chop. This is really, um, you need to be cautious with this. So let's look at the CL also on the full range. Uh, we had one trade today, and it is uh, at uh, around uh, 9.25. Uh, one trade and it was over where on the full range we could have have much more. But then again, um, uh, why we need to use a daily target and why we have to be a little bit uh, more um, realistic with our uh, daily target because any kind of auto trade is straight in that area here, he would have lost money. So... Uh, this is really serious, uh, and uh, th so uh, could be uh, in the afternoon session you might be able to make ten thousand dollars, but also you might lose ten thousand dollars. So this is a very serious uh, risk. So when a guy it is, uh, and all of them those are market orders; they're not limited orders. So there is a plus minus one take. But um, also, you have to think, oh, man, I should have stayed and made my target 1,000. No. Uh, right now, after we came out from New Year's Eve, things is not on a full speed yet for some reason. Last year was 10 times better. That mean we're going to be having, you have to be very careful. So um, like those area here, nothing moved. Uh, that uh, would have given up all your profit for today, you know. So we cannot always blame the auto trade because you have to see why your auto trade, if it's making money or not. Or not. If we look at the 288, also this is a FIB number. Um, we had 
uh, the first trade uh, around uh, around 740. We took the first trade, the second trade, the third trade, the fourth trade, and call it off. So actually, if we really study that chart here, we came in right at what the market was trending, and there is not even one losing trade. One, two, three, four, five, and look at this beauty here, guys. There is nothing but chopped, you know. Oh, man, this is really messy. We could have got few here and there, and uh, but you know what? Walking, walking away with this, one, two, three, four, five, six, Six winning trades, call it off for today. Stress-free, it is really much more pleasant. If we, the minutes, if you, on the one minute, one trade, and it was done and over with. So, this is really not bad for a day. Uh, practically half of the session, the market was flat. Let's look at uh, something else. Um, uh, we have the NASDAQ again. Uh, let's uh, start with the 288. And uh, <laughs> we started with two losing trade. I mean, this is not pleasant to start with two losing trade. But again, if we look at those losing trade, long 91.50, exit 90. I mean, this is, you do not call it a losing trade, actually. But also, it, it is a pleasant, so you're not going to be. If this is the secret that uh, to trade comfortably and having it a little bit more uh, relaxed in your trade, and when you know your auto trade is not sucking a lot of um, ticks out of your account, and um, uh, you know to be a little bit, um, you know, not to grab in all you know all your bread from uh, your account. So this is really. Very important to be relaxed and um, when if something goes wrong on one trade. So uh, one, two trade, and then 690. This is not bad. Uh, we were done very early, around uh, 947. Uh, actually, the scalpers on the NASDAQ today got hit, and I will show you that. And then um, really, uh, really nothing. And um, let's look at some different charts. Also, for the minutes, uh, we got in on 85.50, and then we exit on that losing trade, uh, 82.50. This is really, and this is three minutes, folks. And then one trade, and um, 6.75. So what I'm trying to get you is, uh, you can see from all the markets, there is not really trending. So we grabbed on the high time uh, when the market was moving and when we hit the target, we dumped this market and left it alone. Because if you continue auto trading, probability you will be losing money and uh, you're gonna give up all your profit for from earlier today and then probably plus. Also, again, if we look at the five minutes, it was one losing trade. Again, I'm trying to concentrate about the management, more about the money. Management, which a lot of people waive uh, that or dismiss. Um, yeah, there is an auto trade, can trade on a five minutes with an 80, 50 ticks of stop loss, and that is a disaster. As we see today, as an example, we, we had a bad start on the NASDAQ. So when a guy is using 50 takes or 25 takes for a stop loss, after losing uh, two losing trades and he's using a lot of uh, stop loss, probably that guy is not able to afford to continue in this rally and, uh, and uh, trying to see if he can take it because now he start getting nervous. So this is what I'm trying to get you here, not the numbers. Uh, that um, you're going to have some chop days, you're going to have some good days, you're going to have some profitable days. In some days, it's going to be sideways. Welcome to trading. Uh, but uh, if we look at the five minutes, entry is 85 on the NASDAQ with $5 per take. 
and then you have a losing trade on 82.75. The entry was 85.50, and the losing trade was 82.75 exit. So this is, and this is a five minutes. This is, I mean, this is really good. Uh, I can take it any time, those kind of losses, and wait till this market catch a trend and call it up for today. So this is the whole logic behind uh, any success auto trading. Uh, so this one here is 830. So let's look um, at my favorite instruments. Well, let's look at the YM and then uh, look at my favorite instrument first. Also, I like to concentrate on those two charts. Uh, the five minutes today took uh, one trade uh, around 8 to 20, exit, done, over. Daily target, 500. Uh, if we are looking at the 288 chart, we have two winning trade, beautiful uh, entry, exit, first pullback, entry, exit, done, 820. So, and look at this mess here. How are you going to make money here? You're not going to able to make money. So, th again, it is very important uh, first, learn how to manage any kind of auto trade before you start trading. You need to count your losses before you start counting your winning trades. This is very important, folks. So let's uh, look at the DAX. I'll, the reason I like the DAX, uh, no matter how the market is uh, slow, you, you always can find a trend and you always uh, can be exit as soon as possible. Uh, so no matter what you do, as you see today, uh, this is very unusual for a minute, but it was uh, taking more than usual, the trades. And again, it started really south, and then uh, we, we took advantage of it when the market started trending a bit, and then we called it off, so we recovered immediately. And uh, the first two trades then uh, covered everything. And the reason is because your your stop losses are small. Uh, that will give you the advantage to recover on the same day. Uh, let's look at, what is this, five minutes? The five minutes, one trade, calling it off. And... Um, it was done over with uh, 9.30 Eastern time and done around 10, done over with. Also, the targets are $500. Uh, if we look at 150 ticks, there is a lot of traders use 150 ticks. It's the same story, one trade. But this one got lucky. Does not mean tomorrow the, the 150 ticks is going to do better than the five minutes or the 200 or the one minute. No. Today, the, the DAX made uh, more money than the five minutes, and tomorrow, maybe the five minutes is going to be making more money than the 150 takes. But we should not be jumping from one time frame to another because today, this one here made more money than the other. What we need to find is what you are comfortable with your stop losses. Uh, are you okay with the 288 takes? Are you okay with the 200? Uh, 150 takes or three minutes or five minutes. Uh, the different time frame comes with a different stop losses. So which one you are comfortable with and try uh, to, and the full range for the full range trader, this is what I like uh, to uh, show. Uh, I don't care about those numbers. You know, really I don't care about those numbers. You might gonna have a good day today and tomorrow could be a bad day. The most important is uh, consistency. But what I like uh, when when an auto trade, do not take a lot of trades. And then you took one trade, fair enough. And then we dived into the chop. The auto trade did not respond to those movement. So to me, I prefer to have $700 on, on a cases like this than to have $7,000 and uh, be you know, rocky going up and down and left and high risk. So 
to me, this is um, uh, what accuracy is all about and uh, uh, auto trading. It's not just for every bumper, this market move. We need to jump into the wagon because there is a lot of sideways chop, call it whatever, and there is also false movement. And there is a lot of monkey business around 9.30 when the market is open. So, uh, uh, and then uh, we have the 244 uh, ticks and then uh, one trade, I think, and it's called off. That's fine. Uh, I want to cover uh, the scalpers also for NT8. And then I will show you the scalpers on NT7. <coughs> Those are uh, the, the scalpers uh, on Ninja Trader 8, and uh, on Ninja Trader 8, we are using uh, market order actually. On the left here, you can see all the EES hit the target, the one minute and 150 ticks, all of them did. And also, we are using a daily target, uh, one uh, $500. And then the rest is CL, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, all of them. And also the target, um, 500, that's why you see them all in the range of 500. Now, if the last trade also on the scalper, if it's uh, going to your direction, then it's going to get uh, 800. So it must be the last one. Here is the last one. Hit it pretty nicely. So this one here got $300 more. But... Uh, they're all within 570, 525, 550, 555, 520. They're all within the range. Uh, and this one here is 690. They're all in the range of 500. So on the days like this, you need to lower your target, uh, whether you are swing trading or you are uh, scalping or you are using the entry signal. And uh, you have to approach this market a little bit cautiously stand being all over the place and get in trouble. So if we want to look at the scalpers on the uh, on the uh, uh, NT7, uh, on the NT7 did extremely well, but uh, we got hit with the NASDAQ on NT7. Actually, on NT8 uh, market order on the NASDAQ, we hit most of them. So uh, here we can see uh, the NASDAQ uh, did not make it and uh, on 150 ticks. And actually it was, uh, I'm not using a daily target in here. I'm just letting them run in uh, nonstop. So uh, then at 12 o'clock is reset, but uh, we run them from 12 to 12 uh, on the NT7. And uh, this is really um, um, the NASDAQ today really did not uh, do the trick. And uh, this is, uh, but the rest did very well. And uh, uh, also for the 30 year treasury bond, uh, it was uh, before New Year Eve was running really perfect. For some reason, right now after New Year Eve, we have. 1100 on the 30 year treasury bond, but this is not much on the, on the B scalper, it's only 687. It could have been better. I don't know, maybe when the markets start kicking in real movement, then we can see some number. Folks, that's all what we have for today. I want to say, uh, please be careful. The market is not really smooth yet, and uh, it seems like. This year is going to be harder than last year, so you better shine whatever tools you have, and you have to open both of your eyes on the uh, market's movement. Uh, seems like uh, this 2019 is not going to be a piece of cake. Uh, if it's going to continue like this, we need to uh, lower our um, target and keep our eye to the movement. We hope that uh, next week it will uh, start kicked in. Uh, I mean, like it used to be, but uh, for some reason we have some movements here and there, but uh, has not really kicked in yet, you know. So please be careful and try to be uh, realistic with your daily target. 
I want to say God bless you all and thank you very much uh, and see you another day. Bye for now.